This morning, my son alerted me to a Facebook post revealing an all-new Indian motorcycle dealership that's opening up in Ballarat, my local area. I jumped straight on my bike and headed down to take a look, and boy, was I impressed. Being a new dealership and still in the process of setting up, this is more like a sneak peek video, but I was lucky enough to speak with and conduct an impromptu interview with Justin, the dealer principal. Thanks so much for your time, Justin. I also met Justin's wife, Lisa, and their sales manager, Mark. I found them all to be very warm and welcoming, which bodes well for the success of any dealership, I believe. A warning though, towards the end of the interview, I suddenly realised there was music playing in the background. I'm going to try and upload the video as is, as it was a really good interview. Let's see how it goes. This is a lesson I've learned, and I assure you, I'll not make the same mistake again. Thanks Paul, um, great to be on Bill. Um, so my name is Justin Mitchell, uh, I'm the dealer principal of uh, Indian Motorcycle Ballarat. Uh, we opened uh, for a preview yesterday, um, and uh, so today is uh, day two of uh, uh, allowing uh, people to come in and experience our space. And are you local? Yes, yeah, no, yeah. local. Um, so um, originally with the Mercedes-Benz uh, Ballarat dealership, okay. yep. uh, which we own as well, um, and had this space uh, as part of our facility, uh, looked to obviously develop it into something, and um, Indian late last year advertised that they would like dealers in the area, and uh, so we approached them, and, and uh, obviously they were um, keen to, to get on board with us as we were to get on board with them. So it's, it's a new model, model now, isn't it? Was a um, factory-only dealers? Now it's, um, how, how's that changed? Yeah, so they, they, um, they had a centrally located uh, uh, factory owned store uh, and a major one in each capital city. Um, they realised that um, they needed to branch out and provide vehicles uh, in wh where people are so they didn't have to travel so far to, to obviously expand their sales. And uh, so they're diversified now and, and, and appointed uh, franchise dealers. So I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. I've never actually ridden an Indian and that's because the dealership's in Melbourne. Um, for me, test riding a bike in Melbourne would just be a nightmare. Yeah. So, yeah. so I've just avoided it. I've ridden, test ridden Harleys and all sorts of bikes and owned all sorts of bikes. Yep. But I've never test ridden an Indian or uh, bought an Indian. Um, yep. So for me, this is fantastic. Having yep. a dealership out in my area where you know I've, I've got accessibility just to come and look at the bikes is just brilliant. Yeah. Yes. And that your um, your position is exactly the same feedback we're receiving uh, from launch. Um, okay. We um, have had the Ute running around for a, a number of months. We've been obviously building this facility where people have um, sort of got onto the idea that this is where it is. Uh, we've had people looking through the window and knocking on the door while we're setting up. Mm -hmm. um, and the common feedback, um, great that we're here, great we don't have to travel. Um, can you do servicing? Because they've got a, an older model they've purchased before. Uh, so uh, we think that um, you know, strategically, we're going to be uh, positioned to, to sell a few bikes and service a few bikes. and. Um, and uh, ride, uh, ride a bit of a wave of success, I, I hope. For sure, I, I hope so too. Um, so servicing will be available here? Absolutely, yep. yes, yep. On, on site here. Yep. So we've got a trained uh, tech already with us yep. and uh, we've got our first uh, two service bookings for next week. Oh, fantastic. Now, um, if I don't ask you this question, I'll get shot. When's the new chief coming? Uh, so May, June, we're suggesting okay. uh, stock will arrive uh, to us. Okay. Um, and today uh, we do have the gents here from Indian uh, going through a bit of an inspection I suppose to see if they like the place okay. but also just to follow up on a few of those open questions about stock arrivals and other things okay. so yeah May June is, is the indication at this stage. Okay. Now, in the US there's going to be seven I think different chief models how many are we getting here? Yeah and that, that's a question I don't know off the top of my head I okay. apologize Paul yeah. um, uh, it's a uh, I would, I would suggest the range will be the same um, okay. as, as uh, in other markets. And the um, Challenger, I don't see one on the floor. Yeah, first one arriving uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks okay. we've got a, a ruby red uh, arriving. Okay. Um, but uh, at launch, and the stock arrivals uh, are challenged with obviously COVID and other things. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we've got um, 11 bikes kind of all at once. And, okay. um, yep. We're just waiting for those, a couple of others to come on board and you're keen to get one. And so, um, if someone orders a bike, what is the turnaround time now with the COVID situation? Yeah, the, the, the stock uh, continuously arriving. So okay. uh, it, it depends on which model you're after. Yep. Um, at the moment, Scout is on quite tight allocation. Okay. So if you're, if you're looking for a Scout model, model um, we can help you out with a, 
a bobber 20 because yep. we've got two in stock yep um, but as a, a scout bobber itself we've got them arriving next month and the month after and the month after that okay, so, okay. Yeah, it could and be two weeks it could be six weeks it could be you know, three months not okay sure. and the FTR is this the latest no so not okay. 2022 okay. Uh, they, they haven't arrived as yep. yet um, okay uh, again um, in the next few months we'll get those bikes yep. um, but yeah we've got three FTRs in stock that uh, are keenly priced with a 0% finance offer. Okay. Um, happy, happy to uh, put those to his, their faces with, uh, with people in our Okay. So which model are we looking at here? Uh, it's the FTR um, 1200 S okay. Carbon. Okay, okay. And price on that? Yeah, so um, you're looking at 22995. 22 okay, fantastic. All right, well thanks Justin, Thank thanks you. for your time. Um, I did have a bit of an issue with audio. There's just some music playing in the background. I'm going to try and try and use that because that was really good stuff. Yep. Um, and I'll just see what happens copyright-wise. Right. But um, yeah, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, I really Paul. appreciate you. Uh, um, you give me some time today. No trouble. And I'll just let you know, Justin did offer me some test rides. So, <laughs> so we've, got, we've got three yeah. demos or four yeah. demos here at the moment. So yeah. Fantastic. Uh, welcome to put them through their paces. Yeah. Um, obviously, we understand that that's the way you uh, sell bikes is to get the experience. So yeah. no Fantastic. Thanks very much, Justin. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. The dealership is already stocked with bikes, clothing, accessories, and most importantly, coffee. And I must say, it's a very nice place to be. Drop in and check out the new Ballarat Indian dealership if you're in the area. It's also great news that the new chief is coming in May or June. And Justin has generously offered to let me take some demo bikes out for ride reviews, which is brilliant. The first bike I plan to ride is the Bobber Scout, so watch out for that video coming very soon. Subscribe if you don't want to miss those ride review videos. If you've made it this far, thanks heaps for watching today, and hopefully... I'll see all of you again in my next video. Bye for now.